<laughs> All right, YouTube family, 19 years later, and Jay-Z is still petty and disrespectful. <laughs> 19 years later, my mans won't leave Nas alone. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. You don't realize what's going on. Well, Nas got an album, and he's dropping that album, but Jay-Z got some things he want to say, and Jay-Z, well, he starts it off by going deeper into... I'm going to drop my album during the same time Nas is dropping out his album. This respectful act is full time high. Now, I want to just talk to people and let people understand and explain the disrespectful nature in this. You talking about a man who has always been trying to put his foot on Nas' neck for years now. Nas came out with the ether. The ether dismantled a lot of the things Jay-Z was putting out there that Jay-Z was stating. But it, it, it's like... I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. When a man gets on a diss song and say he skeeted on the baby seat, straight disrespectful. He skeeted on the baby seat, bruh. Bruh. This, in fact, let's go to some of the conversations they had. Because of Jay Z and Nas. And I said, and Jay, you may recall, is that ever the possibility that you would ever work with the man sitting next to you? There wasn't collaborations before anything happened. So, you know, why would it happen here and why now? It's bigger than both of us because it's not really about us. I mean, it is, but it really isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's more so about the, the culture and also about the ending and also about showing people another way. Because what we staged was something to just stop the world for a second. But uh -huh. it was always respect. It wasn't a point where... You know, he wanted to gun me down. I wanted to gun him. It was never right. that, you know, because that's not how I think how real bosses move or how real men move. Like a lot of artists today want to front and um, be as big as the biggest ones were. Like they want to go from zero to 60. As soon as they start their career, they come out slandering people, acting, you know, crazy. And, and, and you ain't got the answer, Sway. Wait for it to go. I mean, even in the mix of everything, a deep respect there. I mean, to, to go at someone like that, you have to have respect for them. Once you wouldn't care, you just brush it off. Like, it ain't about nothing. Yeah. There's a liar and a dangerous, insane individual that I want to stay away from. If there's one person on this world that I want to stay away from, it's Nas. Because Nas is the I mean, young Nas was at a different plateau during this time. He let it be known his disdain during these errors for the Jay-Z himself. And I feel like Jay-Z moves like the art of war. He plays chess from smashing this dude's baby mama, releasing tracks about skeeting on the seat. I mean, straight disrespectful. But these two have been able to sit down do some clarifications what's going on i mean we know jay-z the business savvy man he is he changed the game he made rappers look good in a business suit he brought a level of black excellence a level of respect that no other rapper has done yet in the field besides diddy you know he's on on time part-time rapper <laughs> part-time purchasing ghost riders but shout out to diddy but jay-z has been the equivalent of masterpiece in this game so it's only right when you see Jay-Z doing what he's doing. He's going to take a subliminal diss, if not a blunt diss, towards the one you call Nas. You know, towards the one you say to pay attention to what's going on. Here's what he had to say. Takeover. You know, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, that was like the, you know, whoa, that was the jump off. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. This album, I don't, I don't hear anything addressing Nas or yeah. any of those pretty much nobody directly in terms of beats you know yeah. and in fact i even heard a rumor you could clarify this that there's a possibility that you and Nas might actually uh, squash whatever differences you guys had as rappers is any truth to that it's i mean you gotta understand that what we had as rappers is exactly what, we, what exactly what it is what we had is rappers you know what i'm saying it's minutes and it got crazy you know what i'm saying yeah. it went outside the lines of rap but for the most part, it's, you know, it's, it's just music. Like, it, it's just us being um, creative at what, I mean, competitive at what we do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what rap music was built on. Like, I'm better than you. Da, 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 da. It's just the music. That I think it helps. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, help the guy out. I think he made better music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm, and I'm you Sheesh. know doing a great job for me. Okay. My nigga Jay-Z said, help the guy out, he makes better music. 
I mean, this is what we talking about. This dude is little boy Nas. And it's like the shots keep coming over and over. And I, I, I know Nas being conscious as he is. He understands what's going on. He sees the play. He knows what Jay-Z is doing. Jay-Z is a chess artist masterpiece. And I just felt like I wish other ways would have come about it instead of the ways we see now. You know what I mean? The ways you see now is kind of low-key wild. This is some of, shout out to YTV. I wanted you guys to see some of the memes that are being said about this whole beef situation. You know what I mean? You got my say, Jay-Z looking at Nas when Pharrell's song dropped at the same time tonight. It's crazy about the, the levels of memes that are going on just based on that. And I just feel like Jay-Z and Nas situation should have been repaired years ago. But at the same time, who am I to come in between two men feud and tell you how to act? You got to remember, man, these are the top enchilants of rappers in the game. And, and, and I don't think they'll ever lose their competitive nature. You may see them together. You may see them in interviews of Sway in the morning. And, and they capping for each other, talking about, oh, this is deeper than that. And you see Jay-Z through a subliminal jab even back in 2002. I mean, you can't hide from a competitive nature and what made you the, the, the structure that you are today. You don't just become the boss of this, of this rap ish. You know what I mean? This is the life and what they have come from, done in, and, and, and it's crazy, man. Jay-Z to take the jabs that he's taking lets me know that Jay-Z is going for the king plateau. Jay-Z may say what he says, but Jay-Z is going for the king status of the rap game. Jay-Z don't want to be known as just this rapper, no. Jay-Z want to be the Warren Buffett's of this thing. You know what I mean? A presidential feeling. What Roger Goodell is the football, but more deeper, more bigger than what you see. Is there ever the possibility that you would ever work with the man sitting next to you? It wasn't collaborations before anything happened. So, you know, why would it happen after? So now the streets are watching. They're definitely talking. Why here and why now? It's bigger than both because it's not really about us. I mean, it is, but it really isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's more so about the, the culture and also about the ending and also about showing people another way. Because what we staged was something just stopped the world for a second. But it was always respect. It wasn't a point where, you know, he wanted to gun me down. I wanted to gun him. It was never that, you know, because that's not how uh, I think how real bosses move or how real men move. I'm a fan of rap, you know, and um, I don't have to front. Like a lot of artists today want to front and um, be as big as the biggest ones were. Like they want to go from zero to zero. Now, as you see Nas in the interview, he's giving admiration to Jay-Z. But I don't think Jay-Z is sitting there and looking at the same type of... You know what I mean? Jay-Z is a... <laughs> which he's a player in this. And I feel Nas, he's more of a leader type. Nas is... Uh, I'm not going to say Malcolm X and Martin Luther King to Jay-Z and Nas. But I will say Nas would be the Malcolm X. And, and you don't get a lot of the rewards that Martin Luther King got. Malcolm X doesn't have a lot of neighborhoods named after him like Martin Luther King. He doesn't have the income as far as what Martin Luther King legacy has. And that's what you're seeing in Jay-Z. He's the Martin Luther King. Nas is the Malcolm X. And you just got to look at it and take it for what it is. In this hip-hop thing we do, in this hip-hop world of beef, you got to understand this comes with it. And it's not going to ever stop. These guys are holding a feud that's been going on through their eras, my eras, now this new generation era. So it's something that clearly shows you hip hop is alive and well. Hip hop is not going anywhere. Hip hop is at a magnitude where I think the limits can continue to be pushed beyond the norm of what you see. Either it's Jay-Z, the business savvy man that you're gonna take, the guy that has the the genesee qua, the class, you know what I mean? The readiness to, to understand the takeover, not just a lyric, but the takeover in real life, then you got Nas, the, the spiritual leader who's gonna take his people out the dungeon, the darkness, and, and you just got two of the best of the both world when you got Jay-Z and Nas. Look, man, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another great video of i smoke hip-hop live love your family love your kids and stay blessed